Hi, my name is Bob and I'm renovating this 1973 Egg Harbor Sport Fish Boat. Oh, so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to install these in two, two on this side, two on that side. These little pieces of support um, mahogany here. Now they're about an inch and a half deep and about an inch thick. And uh, I've already got a piece sitting here, just um, sitting here. It's not screwed in or anything, and I won't be installing that today. But where these pieces go are right, right in here. The other one goes on this side. Uh, and what happens is um, there's a piece of plywood that's attached to the bottom of them. And there's a blower that's mounted up underneath here. And so when you have the decking on and this, it creates a plenum for the air to be uh, sucked out of the bilge in the engine compartment and come up through here, run down along, along this plenum here, and then up and out and out this vent over here. Um, so that's what this creates. Now the factory had a little bit, not quite as wide of a piece here, they had smaller ones. And they kind of mounted them down, so they were probably at the same bottom plane, but top plane was sitting more like this and there was this weird little gap here um, but I just felt like making pieces wider and uh, just putting them up here so it would be a nice flush opening with no little weird gap so anyways I gotta trim these um, chop saw first they're a little too long they're just rough cut and, uh, and then we'll fit them and put them in now and stand up to talk about the rest of this here. When I put them in, fit them, I'm going to use this 90 degree drill here and uh, as you can see, it doesn't, I can only do one side at a time so I'm going to have to do this side and then take this piece out and fit the other side. I think it's uh, the actual bit that screws in the screw isn't as long as this so I should be able to screw them in and install them uh, using this but just to drill drill the, the uh, clearance holes, counter hole, counter bit holes uh, yeah I'm going to have to do them one at a time and take them off as I go but that's alright <laughs>
quick overview and see the results. Now, um, tomorrow I'm probably going to remove both of these beams and uh, I'm going to bring them home and epoxy them, three coats of epoxy. Because if I do it at the um, in my shop, it's a little more controlled temperature and I'm not going to get the bubbles that I get when I'm here. And I can do something around the house while I'm waiting in between the uh, coats. shop and work on them here. Uh, goal this here is to get two coats of or three coats of epoxy on these. Uh, not going to happen today. Probably work on the epoxy part tomorrow, today, tonight. I'm just going to work on getting uh, all these uh, plugs cut off and getting these pieces sanded relatively decent. I don't have to go crazy sanding these things. Okay. Um, just didn't want a sharp edge on that end and uh, I'm actually I'm going to kind of round this over a little bit too. Okay. Alright, everything's ready to go, sanded. Put these little pieces of plastic on here just because um, when I, I'm going to tip these up like that. And uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to um, epoxy this part because I'm going to do that when I install it. But I do want to get the sides over here, and this will just keep it from sticking to the wood over here. Uh, do the bottom. I'm not going to do the underside because that's going to be sanded anyways for uh, when I put the plywood on. going on here. I put these nails in the end just to hold it st steady. That's the hole I drilled to actually attach it. Things are upside down. So I just nailed one in. I put a little plastic on the end here so it wouldn't stick to my sawhorse. And uh, yeah, there it is. Just uh, first coat. cover up here but it's just going to be underneath. Uh. Well it is the next day everything is dry and um, came out um, halfway decent. Uh, 
Next step is going to be to uh, scrub them down with a scotch Brite pad and some water to get rid of any of the blush. And then I'm noticing on uh, some of the areas, uh, kind of on the side supports here, you really can't see uh, in your view right now, but uh, some of the grain raised a little bit and it's kind of rough. So I'm going to sand those down and just in those areas and uh, reapply another coat of epoxy just on those spots. Uh, also, there's some drips on the bottom. I can feel them along the bottom here, which is not abnormal. I get those all the time. So I'll just have to sand those down as well. Okay, it's Saturday, September 7th, 2019, and uh, brought all the beams that I had epoxied in my shop over to the boat this morning. And um, did a little preliminary uh, sanding on them. And I'm just starting to try to fit them in there um, for the final time before I um, actually install them with epoxy. Um, so let me show uh, what I did this morning uh, before I uh, started filming. Okay, so the first thing I did when I got over here is sanded the face of this support piece right here. Uh, it was a little bit rough from when I epoxied it and I wanted it to be nice and smooth so I'll put another coat of epoxy on it. I uh, didn't do that one uh, on the back there. I can do that anytime but I wanted to get this side done because I'm going to be epoxying in here anyways. I had to sand it anyways. So got that done. I also sanded this top edge of the beams on both of them and um, down around this corner kind of where I'm going to be epoxying. I did this edge mostly so I can get a good measurement because it was uh, kind of uh, it was like a drip there and so uh, I'm going to have to be sanding all this whole face anyways when I fiberglass over it but for now I just did the top just to get a good measurement overall so I can position it correctly and of course I did the same on this side um, so I'm fitting this piece in now this first beam and uh, what I have to do is get rid of this stainless steel screw that I've been using that's way too short it only engages the wood about a quarter of an inch uh, and I bought some bronze screws like I use from the factory but longer ones uh, they, use, they use this same size actually from the factory but they counterboard way down deep and didn't plug it and I think that was probably part of the reason why these ends rotted and cracked because it weakened the end and water got in there and it just um, probably froze or whatever it did and it cracked cracked a lot of the ends and rotted this whole area so we're gonna do that next pull these out and um, fit the longer screws in there now I haven't used too many bronze screws especially this length uh, so I'm uh, I'm hearing they're difficult to install. So here we are. Um, what I did was I removed this piece, flipped it over, left it back here, and um, I drilled these holes deeper and then went in and out with a um, stainless steel screw with a Phillips head, which was easy to do. I learned that little tip on uh, another boat builder on YouTube, um, SV Tapatia. Uh, he's building a uh, wooden sailboat, and that's kind of what he did. Um, and it seemed to work pretty good. Now, okay, we got the same procedure as usual here. I'm going to wet this area out, wet this up over here, and do the same on the other side. And then I'll mix up some uh, colloidal silica to thicken up my epoxy here. Spread that all on here. dry now. Didn't put any kind of uh, fillet on this side because the other board goes right up against that. So you can see what's going on. This side I put a bit of a fillet in there. Probably clean it up a little bit more in the back there but I can do that after I put this camera down. Um, 
And then I'll show you what I was messing around with underneath. Now underneath, see the gap under there I had to fill. But so basically underneath here I'm going to put a piece. It's going to screw into the bottom of this and the other one and screw into the uh, into this here and that'll hold the bottoms from twisting around because I only have that one screw in there and the epoxy. Um, and the tops will be tied together with the, with the uh, plywood so I'm not too worried about that but the bottoms aren't really tied together there in the corner. Uh, so anyways I'm going to do that probably tomorrow. I clamped the center here to the stair so everything's like in position where it needs to be. It's not going to move. You can see the other side's done as well. Okay, so here's what we have going on here. We've got this beam in uh, and it's drying right now. I've got some plastic on the back here just to cover it while I um, drill the ends of these uh, with the, um, the longer drill bit to fit the uh, the bronze screws in there, like I did for this piece. Uh, I just don't want to get wood chips all over the epoxy that's drying. Um, I've got these pieces here just fitting in here. I've already, I had these fitting before, but I just wanted to put them in. I have to drill a hole on each end here and put a screw in each side to hold that together. Uh, that completes the, uh, the box here. Uh, there's another piece that's going to go in over here too. I have to fit that in Get that in. I won't screw this side right now because this whole stair is holding this piece in. Uh, so I'll put it in uh, with just epoxy for now and then drill it uh, after everything's dry. Pull the stair away and drill into that. But I will drill it on the back side. Put two screws on the back side. Uh, so that's kind of what we're at right now. Uh, I'm going to do these ends here. Um, get them fitting for these screws first. And, uh, and we'll um, install this thing uh, with these and uh, this centerpiece. And that'll be uh, the completed install for today. I'll let that dry and then uh, deal with the piece that has to go in between here tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, get going with that. in that direction. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, drill a couple holes in here on this side. Uh, there's two of them and uh, that will be attached to this beam at least temporarily. Uh, yeah, so trying to figure out when I put it over here I think I'm gonna have to attach it to this piece first loosely and then when I get it in I can kind of get it in the right spot um, but I still have to sand underneath this too so let's just cut the let's just drill the two holes Put this piece in, attached to that. That's the back side, it's flipped over. Uh, then I'm going to put these in over here to get those going. Then I'll put the, uh, yeah, then I'll put the little so the thickened epoxy on the ends, flip the whole thing over, and get it in. Now, that's the plan. 
We'll see how it goes. Hey, everything's in now of course I gotta clean everything up so I'm gonna turn the camera off to do that because I just gotta do that and then I'll show you the finished product So I marked this piece here for the slope, so that's where that line is <clears throat> where I'm going to cut into with my, I think I'm going to use my oscillating tool, and then just cut this whole little chunk out here. Alright, so uh, after doing a little sanding, this is the piece just kind of mocked in there. I put this piece here just so I can clamp it the way I had it clamped. That way I can get to all the areas I have to screw. So I'll put a screw in here and here and then up underneath the bottom. Okay, we can take a look at the finished product on the top here since you really couldn't see it. Uh, and that's it on the starboard side. It looks like in the front. And uh, we'll look around the back here too. So, that's basically it. Okay, well the next thing we're going to work on now is putting a uh, piece in between uh, this transom support and this one. Now I can't screw it into anything because this piece is in the way here and that's can't do it there. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, cut a notch in here or a slot. Probably like a notch on both pieces and just set it down in there with epoxy. Okay, so I've got the angle cut. Now, this piece is kind of deep for this. So I'm going to cut this part right here from 
uh, here up. Okay, so I've marked where I have to cut on this side, and I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, where I have to cut on that side. Put it on and uh, yeah, I just don't want to disturb it now, I'll just leave it. Mm -hmm.